so if you order a heated bed this is a mk2b dual power heated bed i'll show you how to wire this up and attach it to our 1 8 inch thick sheet of aluminum that we'll use as a heat spreader and as a platform to attach our one foot square um, sheet of tempered glass this print bed has two sides one is the etched side with the heating element that is the side that will be facing up towards towards the heat spreader so we'll make our connections on the smooth side of this so that this can stay flat this will be attached with uh, some very small screws in the four corners and in the center I'm going to use a rivet and I'll show you more about that so uh, first things you want to center this in your sheet of aluminum if you're using a one foot square sheet of aluminum the center you have the center when each side of the heat bed is approximately or just about one and three quarters of an inch from the edge I've already measured this out and marked the spots as you can see I have punch holes where I'm going to drill your heat bed should have come with a thermistor you won't need that just yet and some wire if you're going to use an LED with this to indicate that the power is on this is what you'll need. You'll need a 1000 ohm resistor and obviously LEDs. This is the basic wiring. Um, Boobie's got 12 volt power supply and we have 12 volt electronics. So we'll select put our positive red wire to this lead and we'll jump these together and have the, the main black wire coming off of number two. Okay, we want it in there. Have it off at sort of a right angle like that. Just poking through. We'll use a we use the nipper after we have this soldered to take take off this side. I actually bend this down just to kind of hold the wire in place for the moment. Okay, see on the other side. Uh, did have some solder go through? We'll put this jumper back in and solder it. Pad three to pad two. up okay, 
heats up. Um, need some cap on tape. What we're gonna do is cover up these electrical connections and any place else that we may see copper from the PCB shining through. Um, either because of manufacturing defects or because of our own stupidity. If you see right here, just above the, the heat symbols, you see those scratches. There's copper being shown. So, cap on tape's gonna go over there. I'll actually put cap on tape on all, corner, on all four corners. And we're doing this on the etch side. These match up with the heat bed itself. Four holes. Get those punched. You'll need three holes, or actually I'm one hole in the center for the for the thermistor. Three hole additional holes will be for the mounting screws that'll attach this heat bed to the Z platform. One inch from there and center will be one spot for one, one screw hole, one inch from the edge on this side, and one inch from wherever the overlap. Um, this is gonna be about one and five eighths of an inch from the edge when this is sitting, and this is the bottom side, but when this is sitting on the actual printer, your overlap where this hangs over the front of the Z platform that's attached to the bearings and the linear rod is going to be about 1 and 5 eighths inch. So from there, one more inch because you want to be an inch from the edge of that Z platform on the front. So 2 and 5 eighths inch on this. And two and five eighths inch from the front, one inch from the side, one inch from the side. What we're gonna do on this PCB, look very close. This is the etch side. Um, this center hole has to be expanded slightly. I have a very small file that I'm gonna use just to open that hole up enough to fit the rivet through. But you also have to be careful not to disturb the etching around it. You do have a little bit of area to bring this out as you can see. Okay once you have all the holes drilled out and they line up appropriately with the heated bed PCB, whatever side that the PCB will not be on, and we would consider the printing side. I have this for distinction. Um, I just haven't taken the plastic off. On the top side, we're going to countersink all of these holes, um, just so that when we it's install the screws and the rivet, that it sits perfectly flat, that those screw heads and the rivet sit below the level of the main surface because we want the glass that goes on top to sit flat against this aluminum. Okay, once you have it drilled out and you have all the the holes countersunk and you see all over this, once you have that clamp in place, like I mentioned before, this is going to be one and five eighths pass the Z platform, once it's lined up on both sides, we're going to do the three holes, this, that hole, that far hole, that will support this print bed on the Z platform or be used for bed leveling. We'll just start drilling in those holes just to mark the spot and then we'll come back and drill it precisely later. Okay, those 
screws in place, we can fit this those screws over like that. some nuts And now for the rivet. Now the important thing with this, because I know you sit thinking, well, doesn't the mister go in the middle? Shouldn't it go in the middle? Yes, it does, and it will. The piece that's left over from that, we're gonna knock the ball out the back of it. Now the ball's out, so it's actually clear right through. And with that opening that we now have, we'll run the mister through this hole on top of here. And we're gonna use our Dremel tool to cut out a small indentation on the side where the thermistor will rest between here and the glass. A small little channel that the bulb from the thermistor can rest in without being crushed by the glass that goes on top. Once you have that in place, we are going to secure that with cap-on tape. Um, get a piece of heat shrink and place it over the thermistor wires where these wires will run along the bottom of the heat bed because you know, while the top end of the wires are insulated the rest of the wire may not have the heat resistance So I have like five total screws on there and that should be enough room to fit the Z platform. Okay, on the underside of the printer, blue Z platform, drop a couple washers. Then secure them with wing nuts. That's how the, the print bed will look. Right now I have these tied up just for wire management at the moment. So for the moment, I'm just gonna tuck these wires out of the way. And you can see all the components on the inside. <laughs> 